Hey everybody, this is a, a quick little tutorial about the app that we learned about at our last Gopher State Physics meeting called Sensor Kinetics Pro. If you remember, we attached the phone to a spring and a, and a binder clip and we let our phones bounce up and down on the spring and we were able to uh, get uh, accelerometer data and we wanted to be able to plot that data uh, using graphical analysis um, uh, also on the phone. Or, Alternatively, export the data to a computer and use Logger Pro to graph it. So Sensor Kinetics is available for both the Android and the iOS operating systems. So you just have to go to your store uh, and uh, download it. And um, so let's take a look at, uh, at what we can do with it. So as you open up the Sensor Kinetics app, you're going to see the main sensor page. There's a great help uh, topics here. So I won't spend a lot of time. You can do some reading about each of the sensors and things like that. But the one that you're probably going to want to start out with uh, using is the device motion derived sensor called linear acceleration. So if you just uh, click on the linear acceleration sensor, uh, your acceleration versus time graph is going to come up. I'm just going to record some data now. I'm going to hit start and I'll just going to slide my phone back and forth here a little bit. Notice there's three axes that you can get acceleration for. I'll just hit stop. Of course, now after your experiment, you'd want to export that data and probably plot it and be able to do some analysis with it in graphical analysis or Logger Pro or maybe even Excel. So the upper, uh, the upper right hand corner, you'll see the blue triangle or the blue down arrow. If you click on that, it gives you the options for files and sharing. So what I want to do is I'm going to save that file um, and just name that. Now I'm going to call it like acceleration test and I might call it three because I've done this a couple of times now. So I'm going to hit that and notice that it saved that to a file which is named acceleration test three. Now that file is ready to be used so I'm going to click on that file again and it gives me the menu open rename or share via email. The way that I've found to get it into the next program is I've got to share it via email and that way you can convert it and you want to convert it for Excel and other data programs as a CSV format. So I'm going to click CSV format and send it to myself via email. I use a Gmail account, so I found that works um, for me well. Um, and then uh, I'll get out of the app, so I'm just going to close the app. And uh, now I'm ready to bring it into graphical analysis here. So how I do that is I do it via my email program. If I come in here and look at my inbox, I've got uh, my file, and as soon as it's done downloading, if I just click on my file, I'll get the data, and I could copy and paste that into Graphical Analysis or Logger Pro, but what I'm going to do on my phone anyway, this works, is if I hold my finger down, it gives me the option of what app I want to open my attachment with, and there you can see Graphical Analysis. So I'm going to click on that, and it opens the data uh, right up in Graphical. Whoop! Sometimes it takes twice. I'm not sure why, so I'm going to try that again and there we go uh, it worked that time so use it for some reason it usually works the second time uh, so there it is now I'd be able to do my you know my curve fitting or whatever I'd want to do depending upon what my data looks like um, either in this program graphical analysis on a computer in logger pro or I could do it in an Excel spreadsheet or you know any kind of data analysis program that will import the CSV files um, and so that's it hopefully that um, gives you a little bit of help on how to at least get the data out of the program and then into a new program to work with and then the sky's the limit as far as you know your creativity and thinking about how you could use these sensors in your classroom and what you could attach it to and things like that but uh, um, hopefully this helps you get started uh, using the data thanks a lot